Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He wants you back. Your person wants you back. He really wants you back because he has seen and think and realized that there is no one like you. He cannot find your replacement. He cannot replace you with anybody. He is sorry for all the things that he caused he, he, he caused you and the way he hurt you. So he is looking forward to apologize to you, to tell you how sorry he is, to tell you the to to tell you the the, the wrong that he, he he has done in your life. So he has done for you. So he's looking forward to apologize to tell you that you should let it go, and by the power of God, everything is going to be okay. He still wants you back. He still wants you back. Are you ready to give a chance to this person? You need to seek the face of the Lord. He says, seek first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added unto you. You need to seek the face of the Lord. You ask him, Father, are we meant to be together? God to show you signs and he will show you clarity. He will also show you confirmation. God does not match you with somebody that you will never be happy with that person. God is going to match you with your missing rib, the person that will love and care for you, the person that will treat you so well, the person that will understand you more, the person that will respect you. Because a lot of relationships are going wrong today and a lot of marriages are scattering today because there is no respect and there is not understanding. When you understand your partner, you give him his respect or you give her her respect. Things will move smoothly. You are, In your home, you are going to be so happy. You are going to find peace, happiness in your home. But when you start treating them like they don't, because you are the man of the house, you don't respect your wife and you treat them bad. One day they will make up their mind to leave you. And if you are the man of the house, if you are the woman that is also taking care of the house, sometimes when your man is back, uh, is down and you always like tell him, eh, I'm the one taking care of the house. I'm the one cooking food. I'm the one providing for the house. I am so tired. You need to go and look for a job. And when you start behaving like that, he is going to leave you as well. All we need to understand when two people are joined together, they, they, have, been, they have become one. When two people have joined together, they are now one. Your husband's problem is your problem. Your wife's problem is your problem. You need to carry on when you see that there are things are happening that they are not good in the house. You need to look for a way, sit down together, have a beautiful conversation and see how you can sort it out. Same goes to your boyfriend and your girlfriend. Same goes to your spouse. So, learn to treat your partner good because he wants you back. He did not treat you well. That's why he thought that he might find somebody out there more than you. But he just come to realize that you are the person that he wants. Thank you so much for watching. If you're finding the video useful, please do not forget to give a thumbs up or turn on your notification bell and hit on that subscribe button. If you're seeing me for your very first time, this is Prophet Word with Adele. I just want to appreciate my returning subscribers for coming back. And if you are new, you're welcome to the family. God bless you for being part of this amazing family. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, oh God. I pray that you will show your children confirmation and clarity for whatever thing that they are seeking your face for. For you say, whatever thing we ask, it shall be given to us in the book of Matthew 7 verse 7. That ask, it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. So we believe that you are going to answer our prayer request in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for there is none like you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All of you should stay blessed and keep all your notifications. But we have two more weeks to go for the wedding. You are going to watch it live. You are going to see how this girl is going to be so pretty on that day. Huh. God is an amazing person. And keep trusting and connecting and tapping. Your day is coming. We are going to join together. So sit in your life and also celebrate you in Jesus' name. If you have something that you want uh, the family to do for you, you you you, you, you can hit me on uh, on my um on uh, my email so that I can see how to say I can I will see how to go about it. Stay blessed. I love you all in Jesus' name.